man, this entire series is gonna make me sound like a fucking crazy evil genius. <laughs> Which, like, I'm only half of. <laughs> nice. Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of Plague Inc. Evolved. Alrighty, when we left off, I was trying to break through the barrier that is plagued uh, through bacteria. And uh, I figured out, I think, what I did wrong. Uh, I was too focused on doing cold resistance when I should have instead been on the water track, which would allow me to infect ships, which would then more easily infect Greenland. And at that point, it's donezo. It's over. Everyone's getting infected soon enough. And then I just need to focus on killing them fast enough. But... Uh, I went through some of the official scenarios just to have a look-see because I never actually have. Um, boy, oh boy, some of these are extremely topical. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I kind of agree a lot with the uh, developer's uh, stance on a lot of things because of... <laughs> uh, well, I, they're more apparent when you read some of these. Uh, people no longer believe in science. Popular opinion has shifted against objective truth and towards alternative facts. But when a terrifying new plague is unleashed, ginkgo tree extract, healing crystals, and snake oil can only do so much. Can the exiled experts save the world? <laughs> oh man, it's great. Mad cow disease. Panic over BSE almost shut down the beef interest industry in the 1990s. Imports were banned and burgers were off the menu until humanity got things under control. Recently, though, unforeseen protein folding has resulted in a new variant of the, pi uh, the prion, putting the whole food chain at risk. Is now the time to go vegetarian? Maybe. And then some of the uh, locked ones. <laughs> uh, where is everyone? Almost everyone in the world has mysteriously vanished and nobody knows why. The rapture? Mass abductions? Spontaneous combustion? Who knows? Luckily though, the few thousand people left behind are carrying on as normal. How will your outbreak spread when there are so few people left to infect? Uh, hopefully fairly well, but we'll find out. Uh, eventually, when we get to that. Global warming. Huge releases of greenhouse gases significant acceler significantly accelerate global warming and raise the global temperature <laughs> by over 6 degrees Celsius, as well as triggering other climate change events and flooding of low-lying countries. Out of the frying pan? Well, maybe. Golden Age. A global, e a global growth surge brings huge economic gains that primarily benefit the people at the bottom of the pyramid, improving the quality of life for billions. If only! Healthcare and research is significantly improved worldwide. Can humanity be stopped? At that point, probably not. Created equal. People worldwide agree that a disease-free world is a moral imperative. New global program to improve surveillance capacity significantly increases ability of poor countries to identify, respond to, and communicate about national disease outbreaks. If the world stands together, nothing can stop it? Here's hoping. Ah, uh, Mirror Earth. Step through the mirror into the land of opposites, where hot becomes cold and cold becomes hot, rich becomes poor, and you get the idea. Which disease will be the fairest of them all? Shut down everything. Jeez. <laughs> Recent health square health squares? Health scares from SARS, H5N1, and H1N1 raised awareness of how quickly disease can spread. Governments are extremely concerned about the international spread of disease, and people around the world are demanding that countries take preemptive action. Can the world be infected before countries shut down everything? One can only hope. You'd have to be really sneaky with this one, and I don't do sneaky that well. Ever. Smallpox. Oh, jeez. Patient Zero is infected with a strain of variola major that escaped from a lab. Humanity eradi <laughs> eradicated smallpox over 30 years ago and has a detailed knowledge of the virus as well as powerful vaccination programs. Will this be enough to stop one of the deadliest diseases that mankind has ever known? We'll find out. Oh. I had to pop the neck. Sorry about that if you heard that. Uh, if... If you were able to hear that, I'm going to cut that bit out. 
but we'll find out. Uh, if smallpox is a new strand of crazy, what was it? A strain. Uh, <laughs> came out and killed everyone. We'll find out. Sovereign default. A failure to extend, extend, extend the debt ceiling in the U.S. triggers a major financial rebalancing. A few countries benefit, but most suffer catastrophic damage to their economics with knock-on impacts on... That, that, that seemed like there, it seems like there's a goof up there. But most suffer catastrophic damage to their economics with knock-on impacts on healthcare and research ca capability. Can things get any worse? Swine flu? Yep, I already know this one. A volcanic ash. Massive volumes of volcanic ash are ejected into the atmosphere from major volcanic eruptions. I was trying to say plumes for some reason. The majority of flights worldwide are grounded, changing the way that people travel. Does this cloud have a silver lining? Who cares? Oh, geez. This one is a bad one. Increased popularity of reality TV in rich countries distracts people and stops them caring about disease outbreaks in poorer countries. Right. Reduced funding significantly impacts the surveillance capability of poor countries and limits their ability to identify and respond to national disease outbreaks. Who cares what happens to poor people? Right? Okay. Xenophobia. Oh, gods. Anger over immigration, globalization, and exploitations trigger a rapid increase in hostility towards foreigners worldwide. Uh-huh. I know this. I've been seeing it. A little too intimately. Countries heavily fortify their borders, significantly reducing the amount of cross-border traffic worldwide. On a positive note, border guards get to shout, Who shall not pass? Come on, did you have to throw the joke in there? Come on. Come on. Really? I know you're British developers, but come on. Really? The answer is yes, they absolutely had to. Okay. Now, this time, we're going to try again, and hopefully we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to go with a different name. <laughs> epidemic was great. Uh, piercing epidemic. No. Disaster misery. <laughs> Itching Contagion. <laughs> I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Especially because I also had an itch immediately after I said it. You are a new bacteria. Okay, so let's uh, start you in... Saudi Arabia? I mean, it's a decent spot. This also has an airport and two ports. I think I like... I, I think I still like the look of Egypt, honestly. So we'll do that, but we'll go after water transmission this time around. All right. And onward we go. Itching Contagion begins in Egypt. All right. And we're just going to let it evolve its course. And I'm going to drink my coffee in the meantime, waiting for it to continue. I know how these go. Wow. It's going a lot faster than I remember it doing. Justin Bibble trampled by fans. Who the fuck is Bibble? Huh. Itching contagion begins to spread. Well, as you say that, I'm also starting to itch more places on my body, so I'm starting to get a little concerned now. <laughs> Just a little bit. Llama collecting is... The new craze. Sure. Whatever you say there, bud. All right, transmission. Let us go with water. And uh, we'll go to water two next. You have successfully evolved itching contagion. Yay. Stem cell treatments for all a decade away, says who? Mass panic over 3D printed robotic juicer. New robotic juicer banned in 17 countries after a UN report highlighted its profoundly disturbing behavior. Authorities trying to restrict access to the CAD file. I wonder what the fuck's up with that juicer. Fortnite from Singapore. Large social network IPO doesn't meet expectations. Who would have guessed it? All right, we are now in the hundreds of infected. Oh, nice try. Greece may exit Eurozone. 
by force, probably, if they default on their debt again, if I, if I understand how that goes. Explosive headset. Oh, yeah. That, that thing. Makes PUBG fully realistic. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, one or two. Um, maybe insect would be good. Just a little bit of insect. CDC releases Solve the Outbreak Education iPad app. Yep. Oh, it's spread to the Middle East. Okay. I guess that's good. That's... It's weird. Okay. Help, I am trapped in the news bar. <laughs> Alrighty. Medicine in Spain, slowing infection. Alright, well, that's a problem. Wow, already in America. Oh yeah, we are infecting more countries than I ever thought possible. Yeesh. Alright. Anemia symptom? No, 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 no. I didn't want that. Uh, is that... that bad enough that I should get rid of it? Nah. Nah, I should probably leave it. I should probably leave it, but I'm gonna get rid of it just in case. There we go. Get rid of that severity so it's less likely to be caught. Uh... Let's add-on birds and that should cover all the transmission areas that I should be concerned about missing woman entered police box with strange man <laughs> oh that that's a doctor who reference I can tell I can tell that much straight away more infectious than T Though no one knows this yet. Key phrase yet. Aspiring thief enters theater. Steals spotlight. <laughs> uh, yeah. Forgot about that. That was great. Nintendo to pixelate Toad in future. Because he looks like a dick. More infectious than HIV. We're already partly there. We're just popping up everywhere. All right, I think now is the time to develop some cold resistance to help out a little bit. Oh wait, and let's pop that shell too. There we go. That ought to get it real fast. Cartoonist found dead at home. Details are sketchy. There we go. Okay, we're doing... Whoa! Well, okay. Alright. Developing a little fast. A little faster than I expected. Insomnia symptom mutated. No! No. No. Irritable and less productive. It doesn't really help the infectivity much. It just increases the severity, which I don't need. Oh wow, look at it. Taking over India there. I gotta apologize to my uh, Indian employee. <laughs> Indian co-worker. Or rather, not employee. He was hired before I was there. Technically. He is senior to me, though I am manager. If he wanted the position, he could have gotten it, but he didn't want it. Wow, I'm already in the billions. Yeesh. There's New Zealand. And there's Iceland. Which means the last... Porgs not cool, says Ewok. You're just jealous that they stole the spotlight from you. 
That's what it is. We are making good progress. We are making very good progress. Whoop. I'm also trying to drink my coffee at the same time. Not easy. More infectious than the common cold, and they still haven't discovered us. Good. I'm hoping we get to Greenland before we're discovered. At a certain point, the land... Okay, airplanes are using a new sterilization filter. That's fine. I'm not worried about airplanes. I'm worried about boats. Cysts. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, spread the disease. Ah, if it's for free, I might as well devolve it. If I'm getting them for free, it's better off devolving it. And then I can just use the points I save towards uh, advancing the disease later. Wow, look at that. Wow, look at that. I am taking over the equator. Most of Africa is now under the uh, effects of the disease. Yeesh. Oh, man. I feel like an evil genius. Because I kind of am in this instance. Okay. All right. Time to add some more cold resistance, and that should be it. At this point, I should be making far more progress. Damn it, I thought you were going to Greenland. Damn it, I saw that one little going over the here. I was hoping, I was begging for it to go to Greenland. Nausea symptom. No! Damn it. Don't want you doing that. Slight chance of infection when kissing. <sighs> yes, that's fine. It's an easily missed symptom. Oh, starting to get some spots in Russia now. Okay. Now in Norway? Yeah, there we go. Sweden's there, Finland's there. New aid program for poor countries. Damn it. That only means we're going to get caught faster. Alright, Finland got infected. Sweden's still uninfected for now. Ah? Greenland. Greenland is now taken. Now it's really just hoping Sweden gets touched next think it's the own yeah it's the only holdout it's the only holdout whoopsie thought that was muted give me a second oh, there we go okay rash symptom no okay rash symptom is actually fine i don't i don't even care anymore i have now infected all the countries i need to uh, new minor disease spreading. I'm already at six billion. Y'all can't stop me now. Y'all can't stop me now. All right. I'm waiting until we get far more infected. I guess I should invest a little bit more in that. There we go. Should get me further. Should get me the rest of the way. Almost there. Slowly climbing again. And there's almost no reason to be concerned that the cure effort will be starting. All we have is nausea and rash. That's all the symptoms we have.
just waiting until we hit a certain point. I'm wondering where the dead came from, honestly. I know our disease hasn't been even close to lethal, so I don't know what happened there. Must have been a world event I missed. Alright. It's gotta be. It's the only thing that makes sense. Oh, Greenland is starting to have more spots. Anemia symptom. That's fine. I'll, I'll just let these build up. Madagascar starts to work on cure. It is very limited funding if it's in Madagascar. Alright. Greenland is getting far more red dots. Alright. And I think the last thing we need is some drug resistance so we can take out Canada and America. That's the last thing we need to get on there and then we're good. Then I can start ramping up the damage. Itching contagion. <laughs> Itching contagion. Placed on watch list. Well, I mean, it's only a matter of time before it's too late there, kids. Then you're gone. All right. Just got to keep on waiting. All right. I think once we hit the sweet spot, when we hit that sweet spot, we're going to go for it. America's taken. America is completely infected. Once we hit that 7 billion mark, we're almost there. And we've crossed it. Now, time to ramp it up. Cysts. Uh, severity is what I want. There we go. Lethality. Uh, tumors. Sweating. Skin lesions. Nah, I don't want more. I don't want more of that. I want more added lethality. Immune suppression. Yes. Organ failure. Fucking yes. And the deaths start. Italy leading the global cure effort, but it's too late, pal. It's too late. You are doomed. Killed more than the Black Death. Fight the cure, I'm already working on it. Peru distributes face masks. Insomnia has been added. We're doing good. Killed more than smallpox. Worse than Spanish flu. Finland begins to break down. Alright. Coma. Pulmonary fibrosis. Global research focused on cure, but that depends on them actually getting it done in time. They, mo they will definitely not have enough time. They're at 30% now, and almost everyone is dead. Paralysis. We've done it. We have done it. I want to add a little more to infectivity just to make sure I get that last little bit of the population. Oh, I might have done it too soon and I might have ramped up too fast. Oh, joy. Okay. This is where the problems start. Might have done it a little too fast. I might have gotten a little cocky. Airborne. Maybe that'll help. Oh, 
Might have gotten too cocky. I might have killed too fast. I think I think I did a little too fast there. Should have probably gone for drug resistance number two. Okay. Profuse bleeding symptom combo. I did it. I did it too fast. I did it too fast and too quick. I wonder. Can I pull it back a little? Just a little bit. That's all I want. Just a little bit. Keep some of the lethality, but keep the uh, infectivity high. Systemic infection. Uh, fever. Keep that. Some of these I want to keep there. Uh, transmission. Was there anything new I could add? No, not really. This doesn't really help too much. There we go. It should calm down the kill rate a little bit while keeping the infectivity going. But it's not going fast enough. Damn it! Damn it! I'm so close! I killed the hosts too quickly. was what the problem was. I stopped focusing on the infectivity. That was where my problem was. Okay. Let me try that again. Let me try that again with the replay and I'll fast forward to when I actually get this as close to where I was when I started. You know, actually doing the killing.
All right, this is now the closest I will ever be, I think. We have now infected the entirety of the world, more or less. And we are sitting at nearly 30%. Once again, I think this is the best shot we have. So, add that, organ failure, cysts, abscesses, systemic infection, and tumors. And I'll also try and boost infectivity as well with hemophilia, maybe sweating. Pneumonia, maybe. And once we start killing, we'll get more points and I'll go for hemophilia. Alright. There are no healthy people left in the world. And the deaths are starting to climb. Killed more than the Black Death. Killed more than the Spanish Flu. Speed up a little bit. Hypersensitivity. Killed more than Smallpox. 50% complete. How about if I do one of these? Ha <laughs> ha! Back down to 48. 50%. Alright. And let's go to symptoms, add to, actually let's add to the, inf not the infectivity, the severity, and the lethality. Let's go to coma. And then we'll go to fever. And that should end it. Fully sequenced. Oh, no. Tote not actually done with that. Hardening. And now it's too late. Can't figure out a cure if you're all dead. Just dead. Add insult to injury. Add sweating. <laughs> and we have wiped out the world with the bacteria to eradicate humans. All the governments are falling. Everything is failing. The world has been wiped clean. Itching Contagion has successfully eliminated all life on Earth. Achievement! <laughs> Achievement! The end of playing. Win one game with any disease and any difficulty. Well, I mean, proves it was the first time I've ever done this. And I actually won. There we go. Hey, cool. Got a score of three biohazard signs. Good. And let's fast forward it and watch this fairly slow decline of the world. 848 days took two and a half years, two and a half years, to wipe out the globe. And it got stronger after I added the uh, drug resistance and just wiped out everywhere else after I added the cold. And then, it was just adding the death. And that 
That's it. The world ended. All right. The Darwinist gene and the virus plague type have been discovered and unlocked. I guess we know what we're going to be doing next time, aren't we? Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and finally completing one of the scenarios with bacteria. And wiping out the world. For you.